Melanie Laborowitz, educator at the New Mexico History Museum, and welcome back to Making History. We do hands-on activities every month, and this month is no exception. We're snowed in today, so we're going to make something that reminds us of fall and celebrates the harvest season. We are going to be looking at corn husk dolls. Lots of people think, oh, those are pioneer toys, and they are, but also the first people who had corn in the Americas are the Native American community, and here in New Mexico and throughout other parts of the country, there were different versions of dolls that were made out of corn husks that are fashioned in the fall. You're going to need just a couple of things. They're really easy to get. You can either have some corn on the cob and peel off the corn husks and save it, or you can go to a grocery store if you're here in New Mexico, or you'll find a Mexican grocery store perhaps somewhere else that will have bags full of corn husks made for making tamales, and you'll just need one of those bags and water, a basin to soak them in, to soften them up for about 15 minutes, some string and some scissors. Probably some paper towels or a towel to blot them dry and that's it. And so let's get started, celebrate fall and make something really nice for our Thanksgiving table perhaps and um, to remind us of the summer that has come and gone and the fall that we're in now. So let's celebrate the fall and make some history. Thanks. Let's go. Get all of your supplies together, the string, the husks, and some paper towels, and set them out. Here's a little couple that I got started with, and we're going to show you how to make each one of these. You can split them in half and make legs for a man or the traditional girl. We're going to set these aside right now and get started. You want to take some of the damp corn husks out of the bowl where they've been soaking and blot them with a paper towel so that they're not too wet when you dry them, but make sure that they're malleable and bendable. They can go back either way and they're not going to break. And pick out a bunch that are the size that you like. Some uniform size is fine, but they don't have to be. You can work with all different sizes, so just blot them and dry and then you'll be ready. Take out as many as you need, probably about 10 or 20 is fine. And you're going to start lining them up um, to make the beginning of the head. So you get your string handy and your scissors and cut off a long section. And then you can cut it in bits and pieces as you, as you go. So the first part you're going to do is you're going to line up a couple of pieces looks like big triangles and you have to make the head first and this is actually going to be inside out so you're going to tie a string with about an inch maybe two inches from the top and just you can wrap it around whatever knots work for you is fine I like square knots pull it tight and then you can trim as you go some of these things will be inside so you won't even see them and you don't have to worry about that but I like to trim as I go and then you're going to turn it upside down. You're going to take the long parts and fold them back over very slowly. You don't want anything to rip or break. Remember, it's really fibrous. And as you do, sort of wrap it around that part that's going to be the head. And then the middle part there is the neck. And you're going to take another piece of string, wrap it around, tighten it, and just pull it in just a little knot like you're tying your shoes and then tie another one of those and that should be fine. Pull it tight so it draws in and it looks like a neck. The next section we're going to do is we're going to roll up another uh, couple of, of husks or leaves if you want to call them that and make arms that are going to go in the top part of the body. To make the arms, select two pieces, sort of back to back, facing in opposite directions with the fat side on one side and fat side facing the other, sort of like wings. Set them, they don't have to be exactly the same, but that's going to be the length of the arms and you're going to roll them all the way up 
and then you want to get some string and you're going to tie each end so first tie one end very tightly I like to wrap it around sometimes and then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side so you're going to make sure that goes around no loose pieces and tie it up soon you're going to open up the part that you had made and you're going to slide the arm part right up inside there you can see how that's done move it so it's even you don't want one arm too much longer than the other one even it up take a good look around and then where the waist will be that's where you're going to put the next string so you're going to tie that one up really tightly as well and then we're going to put on the legs or the skirt whatever part you want you're going to gather up a whole bunch of pieces probably four or five at least two for each side and you're going to end up putting them on upside down so first see how long they are make sure they're all some of them a long longer length than others shorter ones can be on the inside or on the outside if you want an apron which is what I'm going to do here and you're going to put them on upside down so the skirt is going to go over her head in this case and then you're going to wrap it around the body make sure that there's no gaps if there's gaps when she dries up um, you can use glue to make sure that the skirt goes all the way around but you should be able to get it done if you saw how I wrapped it around so when you tie it on it stays really close to the central body and it's um, really tight and goes all the way around I'm going to take a string and wrap it all the way and tie it really really tight this string is going to be underneath and you're going to see we're going to turn it over so you don't see any of these things underneath and I flipped it and tied it again on the other side and then I trim the string you don't always have to trim the strings but it helps keep things neat and now we're going to flip it over so one at a time you don't want to do it all at once because you don't want the corn husks to rip you're going to pull them down all around the front and the back when they're all down you want to make sure that they overlap on the sides so there's no gaps and then you don't have to but I like to tie a string around it so while it's drying it doesn't pull apart when it's dry you can pull that string off which is what I do at the very end but I'm just going to tie this around that waist so it holds its shape while it's drying and just tie a couple of knots nothing fancy and you're set now the arms you might say I don't know if I want the arms all the way out you might want them on their head or want them akimbo or holding something so to, how are you going to do that while they're still wet you're going to pose the arms however you want and then you can tie them together so that they dry in that shape now this one is close but I wanted her arms a little bit out so the elbows show I'll take a little piece of paper and wad it up and I can just put it in that crook of the elbow there so it holds the shape and while it's drying when I'm done I can pull that paper out and it'll be just fine now um, this one I want it to stand up so I take some more paper and I'll stuff it in there it can come out later but while it's drying it'll hold the shape so it stands up and you can see what that looks like there if I want to turn it into a fella or a gal who wears pants I can just cut it down the middle and then roll it and tie knots at the bottom just like I did on the arms and it'll dry just fine so you can do whatever you want and it's all set to go and we're gonna wait for it to dry so here's a whole family that I made and when they're done I put some dried flowers in the arms of the ones that I just made while you were watching and have a great time